Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today finally we have this completed version of the Death Scythe Hell of Dragon Momoko and as you guys know, um, Dragon Momoko is already um, non-existent anymore because the their people is really, um, really have sentenced to jail, jail time most probably so yeah Anyway, before I begin the review, I uh, just want to let you guys know um, to check the description to see like uh, which part you guys would be more interested to see. I know some of you guys are not really interested in the articulation or anything, so I will be separating it to bits by bits. So yeah, make sure to check in the description box down below. So yeah, without further ado now, now let's have a look at this Master Grade Death Scythe Hell Dragon Momoko version and as well as known as the Death Scythe TV version which I'm not mistaken only exists in in terms of the mobile suit there is I think there's a high grade Bandai one and there is a Robot Damashi if I'm not mistaken so yeah now we have this uh, Dragon Momoko version so we'll quickly do a 360 rotation and by the way if you guys when I'm doing this 360 rotation when you guys see at the back, there is some um, maybe um, white color stuff or something. That is like the glue, super glue that I need to use because some parts are either too loose or some part I have to cut off the pack literally just to, you know, uh, just to stick it there. Those are the parts that you don't really um, move much. So that's why I can just literally just cut off all the packs and just... Um, cut off all the packs and just put super glue on it so yeah that's what i just want to say but from here now i see from my camera you guys um doesn't see it but then later on as i continue to do the review you guys will notice that part so first you guys can see the wings in front of you here which is the clock covering it covering the mobile suit so basically you when you open it up you can see here this part here i think the body it's one of the best bit for the kit so yeah anyway uh, let me remove this clock and we move on to the very first part which is the articulation so here it is now without all its um, weapons or even the the backpack or the clock I would say and of course the shield I remove as well this is just the basic look of the kit so yeah again let me just do a quick 360 rotation for you guys to see I think upon this part here, I think you guys will start to realize there are some white parts that it's quite visible, especially the back part and the legs later when I zoom in on the articulation. So yeah, basically a quick chara 60 rotation done. So as always, we'll begin with the top of the head. So here is how the leg, how the head looks like. So of course you guys can see the sticker. The sticker is not to say the best. It it's kind of a bit longer so if you guys can adjust it properly then that's good for you but this is how mine looks like so you guys can see it can the head is actually very secure so if i'm not mistaken you can't really move yeah you only can move up and down so yeah the back the part is back so basically the head you can only move up and down you can't really move left or right i mean once you put on the clock anyway the you can't as well move um left and right so basically just up and down so basically like that then next we move to the body here as you guys can see the body part inside here which um during the product launch as well i think it was very cool the body here you can see inside here the detail inside i would say inside his ribs sort of you can see the is a gray color piece but if you guys uh, want to paint i think if you guys paint it silver color it will be it will look more outstanding so yeah and next here you can see his app crunch and by the way here let me focus and by the way guys can see this um red colored part here triangle this part is the sticker so yeah just not sure if you guys want to see so you guys can see here the app crunch just a little bit again nothing much but of course it's not the main highlight of this kit so you don't really need to bother that much about its app crunch and stuff so yeah basically top half of the body is just like that so you can move like that as well as you can move on the side so as you guys can see at the bottom here 
when you move, there's actually some, I would say, uh, sort of effect like that. So, yep, that's it. The front is just like that. Now, we take a look towards the back. And here you guys can see, okay, wait, I don't think you guys can really see it. But, um, you can take a look at the head, the gap on the head. Um, somehow, I just can't find a problem for this. The only way I can think of is use the super glue and just stick it and then hold it in. Because, you guys, let me just show you guys. Okay, I don't think you guys can see. Um, I'm not sure you guys can see, but you can see if you hold it tight enough, it can almost close. But to mine, it can't really close that much. So that's why it's um, show at the back here. But luckily enough, it's at the back, not at the front. So I don't think that would be much of the problem unless you are playing to post at the back. So, yep. And then here you guys can see the thrusters over here. Let me see if I can focus. So yeah, basically the thrusters is just here. And then the back is just like that. Then this part here, you can rotate here. So you can go back all to the front. So yeah, basically top half of the body is just like that. Now, as always, we move on to the arms. So as always, I will usually use um, my right side, this arm over here. So let me just first show you guys the sticker. You have one sticker over here. Okay, the part there sort of came out. I'll adjust it later on. And then at the back here as well, you have another sticker. Which again, you guys can see the sticker is actually not that bad. So yeah, you guys just need to find the perfect, I would say perfect place for it. Then it will look very good. Sort of like the, uh, for the lack of color, which they usually call it. So yeah, basically now we start off with here, the shoulder armor over here. So you guys can see the articulation, you can move all the way up. But let me say again is that when you want to put on the clock, this this um, part here, you will need to close it down or else um, there's an extension part over here, it will not fit. So yeah, basically this articulation can move all the way up like that. Then you can see his arms all the way up like that. And surprisingly enough for the first time, uh, Jago Momoko arms doesn't didn't give me that much of a problem. So yeah, I just want to note that because usually the arms is the problem, rather the leg is the one that doesn't have any problem. So yep, and then you guys can see his arms can go all the way up like that. But um, I'll talk about later the things that I want to talk about. And yeah, one thing also as well, the backpack falls very easily. So I recommend you guys to glue the backpack on because it's not like you're gonna you're gonna move it very often. Just at the back will do. So just I would recommend you guys to just glue it will do. And then just now you guys can see the hand articulation can go all the way up like that. And it can go all the way up front like that. So I think it's pretty cool. Here's the here's the side angle of how, how far the arms can go. And here you guys can see the poly cap. So all you need to do later is just push it back and then you are good to go again. And surprisingly this hand, surprisingly the fist here. Um, it's actually very good. I uh, don't need to do any modification. I just push it in and then it will stick to that place. So yeah, nothing much really. So let me just slide it back down. And then maybe you guys want to take a look at the back now. Here is how the back looks like. This is a separate grey piece, independent grey piece again. So yeah, really um, this time around this kit is a very simple kit. So there's uh, really nothing much to talk about. So now let's move on to the skirt armor over here. So now we're looking at the skirt armor below here. So you guys can see again another sticker piece here. Then this is a red color piece on top. And then here the front skirt can go top all the way like that. It's um, pretty much restricted. But nonetheless, they are both independent piece. So yeah, it's good enough, I guess. And then let me move this hand up. So basically the side skirt here. It's a ball joint connected again. It can move front and back, but top is limited because of this um, gray piece here, which hit on the side. So yep. And then the back here is the one that I have a lot of problem. I'm not sure you guys can see, but you guys can see towards inside over here. You guys can see like soft, I think white color stain. That is the effect of me putting the um, super glue. Because the thing just won't stick together. 
even no matter how much I shave it as well still doesn't stick so in the end I just use super glue to push it in and then stick it together so yeah that's really it the problem on the back skirt and then yeah then basically it's both independent as well so you can go all the way up like that but I wouldn't recommend you guys to move too much because like I say it's very loose so yeah you guys can see so now the skirt armor everything is done we shall move on to the legs articulation so now the leg articulation again we move up this arm for easy manure and then here the side skirt I'll just leave it and the front skirt I'll just move up so basically um, this is as you guys can see in, I'm not sure you guys can see but again it's the same old Dragon Momoko style ball joint so yeah now let me just move all the way up like so as you guys can see this part when I move too excessive you guys can see the armor piece will come out so basically you you can't do that so yep let me just push it down just fix it back so you can't really move too high up or else your armor piece here will fall off because it's hidden I mean it's it's hitting this um, the top body armor I should say so yeah basically this is how high you can go when it's standing and this is how high you can go and of course here when you bend you can bend all the way like that so yeah you guys can see this part like that is basically the effect of me putting the super glue I've forgotten why I did this part why I put it but I, it should have a problem later on when I review my uh, the manual so yeah here basically the articulation is like that so let me just push it back up and down and can slide all the way up like that so yeah basically a full 90 degrees is possible so don't worry about it but I, I don't really I don't think that you would usually need to do um, 90 degrees post on that on putting that up so but I still do just for the sake of it and parts are dropping off part is done so we move on to the bottom of the leg here as you guys can see this is connected with a ball joint but again this part here I recommend you guys to glue as well I will talk about this part again in my what uh, what you should take note of when you are building uh, this death scythe hell kit so yeah anyway then just ball joint like that at the back is empty this part here as you guys can see here is all the effect of me using super glue which again I will talk about when I'm um, doing the things you should take note of and then here the legs you guys can see can go up down up down and then there are really not much things to talk about the legs it's your uh, basic legs which which is essential enough to do all the posts that are required so yeah now all the articulation is done and dusted now we shall take a look at the clock so here it is the clock that you have so basically um, this there's two parts uh, independent piece this is your soft I would say the main the main um, connector or joint but you guys can see here um, sorry this part here you guys can see the gap it's not very secure so what I would recommend you guys to do as well to glue it because this like the very small part connecting to this big part which holds the all the wings or I would say the clock so yeah I mean basic articulation can just go all the way up like that so you can open it up and then you can at the back as well you can open it up like that so based on how it looks like this it basically looks like a bat that is floating to the death scythe hell the body so which I think is, is quite cool so yeah basically your articulation is just like that and because you are connected with uh, the what you call that the PC part so you can do basically a rotation so that's very good so yeah that's that's really it you have you come with two of it and of course this part you can move so yep that's pretty easy so there's two parts let me just put it down over here here you have another one so this is how it looks like so put it down again so now we shall take a look at the death scythe hell with all its accessories so of course here you have total of four types of hand including the one that i've already put on the death scythe at the back here so down here we have total of one two three and then four at the back one you have open here which you will put on your 
of my right hand side here because this part is where you mount the shield and this part here is sort of like I'm not I'm not sure if this is the holding weapon hand but that hand that I'm using is the hole is much bigger so I guess that it is and then over here you have a closed fist over here so yeah basically your fist I mean these are sort of the extra part that it comes with so now we take a look at the next part so our very next part here we have the shield you guys can see um, this shield part here actually the when you are building when you're actually building the shield it actually looks really I mean the building process is actually really cool which I really like it as well so you guys can see this is the front you guys can see sort of like a cross not sure why I can't focus but yeah now it's focused so these two these two gray pieces at the side is a small piece so yeah and of course the manual there are some parts which are confusing as well as for when I'm building the shield so I will talk about that as well when I'm um, doing things you should take note of which will come out in my following video after this so yeah then here of course you can see slight articulation we can open it up then there is a effect part that I will show you guys right now here is the effect part so there is a gap you guys can see there is a gap in between inside here and then you guys can see um, this part there is a part actually coming sticking out like that so what you do oops actually is sticking back like that so this part just put it in and it will all stick like that So the next part of the so the next part of the weapon it's this very long scythe. So basically you guys can see again it comes with two. One is this holding part over here. Can't fit, but I'll put it down so you guys can see. Over here. And the other part at this part over here will be used to mount on the back of the death scythe here, so you guys can see again. So total it comes with three parts of the effect. So you guys can choose. So this is how it looks like when you put on with this. This is basically the main weapon. So yeah, and then here the articulation. So the articulation you move up like that. Let me just hold it back. This part here you can move down. Then it's supposed to put side like that. Then this part over here is supposed to move all the way up like that. And then you put like that. So basically is how it looks like. So let me just show you the effect part as well. So this part here, this is the, the longer part of it, should be at the top here. And once you put it in, you guys can see it's like that. No, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. It's actually this much longer effect part over here. You guys can see. Let me just hold up. And the other part, it's just like that so basically this is how it looks like this scythe so you guys can see I have another death scythe later to show you guys that's the high grade 1 to 100 I do not have the master grade but then I believe that is the best comparison so basically this is all the accessories that it comes with and then this part here this part I believe is from the high grade version the 1 to 100 because you guys can see the effect is very thick so yeah nonetheless I will show you guys later on so now let me show you how to mount on the clock onto the mobile suit so like I mentioned previously here the clock here you have to push it down so this part here you guys can see on the side there there is like a two holes here coming up so then you guys can see this part over here this is where the two holes will fit into there so before that when i already fix it in it's quite difficult so i'm not sure if i want to do this on camera i might do this off but i just want to show you guys like just put on once so you guys can see so yeah basically this is how it looks like so there are still some gap that i need to tighten it so let me do it off camera so yeah basically you know, now the clock everything is fixed on so the next thing i just want to show you guys that you guys can see there's actually two gap over top and bottom here 
so it can actually click together so let me just show you guys but of course before that you need to s sort of rotate both first the clock on the top so yeah basically this is how it looks like so let me show you guys the mount on the weapons over here so of course let me just if I just hold up like that it is much better let me just fix it as you guys can see it holds pretty easily because of the soft like tightness over here so yeah basically this is how it holds just from far apart like that so you guys can see so yeah the weapon is done let me just hold it longer make it stand and then next year let me just show you guys how I mount on the shield as well it's actually pretty easy you guys can see the gap over here at the top the gray part over here then there is actually a huge hole at the hand there which I did not really notice before that so yep basically here it is the whole thing of the death scythe hell tv version of dragon momoko so yeah but then um i'm not sure if i have the box art so yeah as well as the back i so wanted to just show you guys that at the back here you can close it as well so basically it's just something like that i just need to adjust it properly so this is how plain it will look like if you don't put the water decal but if you put it you will look something like that so let me just put at the side for comparison like that so yeah one with water decal and the other one without so basically this is how plain it will look like in a way and by the way as well you guys can see um, I'm not sure you guys can see let me just zoom down here Is the, this part over here this is actually where you put this small part at the back the weapon the weaponry here so yeah just want to show you guys that so I think basically oops so I think basically that's really it for my review um, overall I think this is actually a pretty solid kit but of course there are still some parts that uh, it needs work on I mean your own work not Dragon Momoko because they're no longer produce kits anymore which is pretty sad anyway here just want to show you guys just the pics like that so yeah of course the review for this kit is done so the next thing I want to show you guys of course is the high grade version the Bandai version high grade 1 to 100 so here it is this is the high grade 1 to 100 death scythe hell tv um no this is just the normal death scythe hell i think this is the sort of like the meteor, the operation meteor the final part before they detonate all the kits um let's just see here so in comparison you guys can see the difference in the weapon this scythe is just basically just one big scythe and then you can just hold like that whereas this you have two and there is articulation as well you can move up and down let me just show you guys so yeah you can basically move up and down as well which of course the the i would say the bat version of it doesn't have it so yeah this is the scythe and in terms of height let me just show you guys in terms of the height you guys can see the height difference between the dragon momoko as well as um, bandai version high grade 100 this one is much taller and of course when I when I take open I forgotten how did I do this already but I do my best as well so yeah basically this is how it looks like the difference of course the main difference in between the Bandai and the and the Dragon Momoko head of course is like the Dragon Momoko the death scythe the head sort of like wearing the general helmet while the Gundam is just normal Gundam and of course the body it's i think it's pretty obvious is of course have the skull of it in have the skull there sort of uh, like the rib cage over here this just like again normal gundam that it should have then here at the side the hand here of course shield as well weaponry this guy have two i would say in a way and at the bottom here you have your legs which is much more sharper you guys can see much higher and sharper as well 
this rather it's sort of like the teeth at the bottom here so yeah really i think this are uh, this is a very um good difference between these two so yeah that's i think that's really it so next one i want to show you guys is the poses then we'll just talk about this um kit all in general so what i'm planning to do is just this like guys can see at the back i want to make the wings like pop up at the back like here so that's what i want to do then that's how we will end the video and in order for me to do that all i need is this small color red piece over here so let me just finish everything and I'll get back to you guys. So yeah, basically this is how it looks like once I put it on the stand as well as having the red pack at the back to connect the wings like that. So this is basically the pose that I want it to be as compared to just normal standing down because you will want to take advantage of the scythe as well. I think this is one of the most unique mobile suit out there, I would say. So yeah, basically here is just the pose. So yeah, overall final thoughts of this kit um building process i would say um okay this is not the kit fort this is the my stand fort anyway the leak came out because of this stand here all the way to end so let me just put it aside first so um what are the ratings um building process maybe seven the looks and all i would say eight um and then accessories, I mean this whole accessories thing actually is a pretty simple kit so there's nothing much to talk about. But uh, did I break anything? That's I think that is the most important question. Um, in terms of breaking anything, I don't think I break anything. Rather, um, you, need, you would need um, your super glue to be with you because there are much more parts that you, you need to um, use the super glue, super glue to stick. Again, I will talk about this in my another video, which is things you should take note of when you are building this kit. So I hope you guys will look forward to that. But yeah, nonetheless, this um, whole kit experience have been really great. But of course, they are, it's not perfect as of this is um, not original Bandai. You expect that. But um, kudos to them for building it. And yeah, basically, I, will, I recommend you guys to get this kit. If you are a Wing Gundam fan, then by all means go and get it because it's really um it's really worth the money and time if you take if you have the time as well as the effort to perfect this kit because it will really looks really great. So yeah, I would recommend you guys to get this kit. I think this is I would say one one of the solid kit that um, Dragon Momoko have released. The the most solid kit that I've built so far released by Dragon Momoko is still the Strike Noyo. But I'm not sure if my opinion after this will change as I still have Testament and the X and the two XR that I've yet to build. So yeah. Um, so as of right now the ranking would be um, Strike Noyo, Dragon Momoko, and second is of course this um Death Scythe kit. Other than following the rest, um I'm not really sure, but I will um, just rank according to what of which kit that I have the most recent experience in. So yeah, I guess the review is until to is until um this part. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's I would say sort of quick review. If you guys have enjoyed, please do not forget to drop a like down below and of course share to your friends if they are um curious to whether to buy this kit or not. And of course, if you guys have personally enjoyed, please do not forget to drop a like down below, as I mentioned again, as there will be more videos of Dragon Momoko kits coming out very soon for me um, for review. So yeah, that, I guess that's really it. I, again, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, please do not forget to drop your comments down below, as I will always um, reply them as soon as I can. So yeah, I see you guys in another video of mine and I hope all of you have a very good day.